that pooch out of here. Do you want to get him killed? All right, all right. Come on, quit stalling. Well, so long, E. Ram. What? All right, all right. You heard the lieutenant. What's the matter with the dog? Right? What's the matter with him? Don't go to eat, Ram. You poor little fella. He's going to freeze out there. Goodbye, eh, Ram. <laughs> Thanks. What do you want me to do? Correspondent, huh? Well, you want to get up to the front, don't you? Well, get in. Oh, no, come on, come on. Get in, make it snap. Here, make room for this guy. you're getting off at the first air base, ain't you, Pop? Why? Correspondent, ain't you? The flyers are the guys you guys always write about. The Hollywood hero. We're just the mugs along for the ride. That's all. Just for the ride. That's wingless, it'll tell you. Yeah. Just one plane and you're all dead ducks. Just one plane and it's... You say file? Say, aren't you the fellow that writes that column about uh, weekend trips or something? <laughs> Mostly about something. That's a pretty good looking outfit you got. Well, we're not an outfit yet. Maybe by this time tomorrow we will be. Load them up! All right, come on, man. On the truck, load up. Come on, on the truck. Say, hey, uh, come to think of it, you know, my old man reads your column. He thinks it's great. I'll be down. All right, man, let's get up. Murph, I wish you weren't so long. It's sort of cold out here in the open. Yeah, I'm cutting my legs off. No, geez, you don't have to do that. I hear we're getting in the real business tomorrow. 
Well, as far as I'm concerned, they can deal me out. The infantry ain't so worse. Look, this is a modern war, ain't it? And I'm a modern guy, and the modern age is up in the air. That's where I belong, not down here. They only washed you out because you're too big. It ain't your fault. I'll cut my legs off. If you had to sneak something out of that village, why don't you bring something in skirt? Oh, I'm not quite... Don't interrupt the music. Listen. Moida. Jive music of Artie Shaw. Axis Sally. Nothing sweeter or hotter in the world, is there? Remind you of Rosalind, Sylvia, Phyllis, Nancy, Mary Ellen, Daisy. <laughs> you bet it does. Summer nights. The jukebox down the road. Cokes. Double malts. Oh. A girl's soft laughter in the moonlight. Tomorrow, you boys of the 18th Infantry will meet our armies for the first time. Armies that have beaten the world. The French, the British, the Russians. What chance do you stand? That's you! When we get through with you guys! Why not be sensible? Be sensible and surrender. Oh, yeah? Be my guests in Germany. Dance with our lovely girls. They know how to... to entertain nice, young men like you. Save one for me, sister. I'll be right there. What a voice. <laughs> what a bedroom. What a... I'll now sing Germany's latest hit, with lyrics written especially for my handsome American friends. Night for me a cigarette In that small cafe where we met let me feel your fingertips, Linda, Linda, on my lips, where two lovers used to be. Are there echoes waiting for me? And do a piece of furniture, I'd love to push around. Turn that radio off! It was Nazi music. Now it's mine. Our first German prisoner. Hey, Pop! Why wasn't you born a beautiful dame? Or even an ugly one? Oh, why don't you guys break down? All right, all right. Tonight, boys. Tonight, I dream in Technicolor.
How much further we got to go? About 20 miles. How far? 20 miles. Then you get out and walk another 10. You know, to get the stiffness out of you. Where are we going? China? Hey, that's ours. 105. There. 88. in the truck. Come on, make it snappy. The medics will take care of you. Come on, come on, on the double. First death's always the worst. I suppose. On the double, man. Let's get in. Get a letter from that Betty Gordon Dame. Man. That makes him even. She won't get no more from him either. <laughs> What's Gawky's last name? Henderson. Well, this is the end of the line. We'll have to run into trouble from here on. A couple of jeeps going back. Mind if I uh, go all the way? Well, it's your funeral. I follow me, man. Is this trip necessary? Back to be in
Get my name in the paper. Harry Fletcher. That's to Bill, Ohio. What do I say? Oh, anything. Just so the folks back home see my name in the paper. Hey, Ernie. Tell Cleveland Joe Borkowski's won the war. Single handed. Winning the war single handed. Joe McCloskey, who mixed sodas in the corner drugstore. Harry Fletcher, who just hung out his law shingle. Danny Goodman, who checked your oil in the summer and studied medicine in the fall. And here they are, with guns in their hands, facing a deadly enemy in a strange and faraway land. This was their baptism of fire. facing the worst moment of his life, alone. It was a battle without let up, and it was going against us. The only thing between us and them is Walker's game. Not many men. Yeah, it's a lucky thing to trust them, Lord. You trouble the Walker, over. I seem to reach Walker. First Battalion. Yes, sir. I see. No, sir. Colonel Hunt isn't back from reconnaissance yet. Who is it, Ralph? Captain Horton, sir. Reporting four of his mortars knocked out. He's pretty badly shot up. Tell him to pull back to Hill 148 and dig in. Right, sir. D Company. Hello. Hello. D Company. Hello. Hello? They don't answer. Keep trying. Right, sir. Correspondent. Hello? They're Hello? pouring more and more strength through the pass. Yeah, and despite all the fairy Hello. stories, one good green Hello? man can't beat a seasoned and crafty veteran. Especially when the veterans got more and better. Tanks, plans, 
One thing we can do is throw in Benson's tank. Benson's through. They knocked him out when they came through the pass. Well, there it is. All we got in front of us is Roberts and Walker's outfits. The company. A little more than a company. There's some hot coffee and beans on the fire, sir. Oh, thanks. D Company. I think I could use Hello. Me too. D Company. Hello. Hello. They don't answer. Okay. Get it to split the plate. How's it going, Walker? Well, we're holding out okay, sir. Our phone went dead. Captain Roberts sent me up to see if there was... I don't know if there was any change in plans or what. No, no change yet. Better stick around for a while. Hello, Bill. Hello, Ernie. Today. Come in. Over. Withdrawing tanks. Withdrawing tanks. Position Zebra 87. Zebra 87. Over and out. Clears. Put those papers in the fireplace. Burn them, sir? Not yet. Lieutenant Walker. Lieutenant Walker. What is it, Sergeant? Lieutenant Walker. Got to see the lieutenant. Yeah, here I am, Walker. Never saw anything like it in my life. Never saw anything like it in my life, son. Take it, easy. Never take it easy. Any... Take it easy, boy. They're heavy tanks. Overran our position. Point blank. Point blank, sir. I had to get out. Got some of the men behind the hill. Did the best I could, sir. Did the best I could. Clear. Burn the papers. This is the first time I ever had to pull any outfit out of anywhere. Wonder when we're gonna start winning this war. Trouble. Notify the company for pulling out. Say what we can for another day. All right, men on your feet. All right, men on your feet! Hey, fella. Come on, he's dead. few times in our history. It was a bitter and humiliating experience. And Joe McCloskey 
was wondering what the folks back home in Cleveland were thinking of him now. As we look back on that first defeat and the bloody victories which followed, we realized that only battle experience could make a combat soldier. Killing is a rough business. Men live rough and talk rough. Jimmy O'Brien, 1918 State. Hi, Ernie. Thanks for putting my name in the paper. Well, I dreamed I got a commission. Selling what? He is my buddy. G-A-L-B-R-A-I-G-H-T. I was a shoe clerk. Way across the Georgia. Best outfit in the whole army. On a dull day, you can always get a fight in the army by arguing which is the best outfit. In a year, I'd been to a lot of places, learned to love a lot of men. But I always reserved one special place in my heart for the boys that I'd started with. Everybody else had a company, and I felt I had one too. Company C, 18th Infantry. I hadn't seen them in a long time, but now I set out to find them again. They'd been through a lot by now. Conquest of Sicily, murderous landings at Salerno. Now they were part of the force hammering down the long, hard road to Rome. Hey, Don Darrell, what town do we take today? San Raviolio. Did we take that yesterday? Nah, that was San something else here. I was wondering about Wingless Murphy, Sergeant Warnick, Lieutenant Bill Walker, and a funny little mutt named a -Rex. All right, men, fall, shower! You know, when this war's over, I'm gonna find me a map and find out where I've been. Captain Walker? Sorry, Captain, nothing for you. Come on. Well, let's get the rest of this stuff going. I'm expecting a lot. Oh. Hey. Ain't she pretty? Hey, what's this? Your insurance form. What's the matter with you? You forgot to put in a beneficiary's name. What's that? Anybody whose name you put down there gets the 10,000 simoleons. You mean anybody's name who I put down there? Yeah, and you better put it down before the next shindig, Bubba. There won't be no dough. Stick your old lady's name down and you're okay. I ain't got no old lady. Well, you're old man, then. Ain't you got no relatives? Well, stick anybody's name down. You don't want to let all that wool go to waste. They go to woes. What? I said you don't want to let all that dough go to waste. Hey, Sarge! What do you know? Yesterday I ain't worth a plug nickel, and today I can throw 10,000 bucks away just like that. Hey, what do you got in the package? Something to eat? I don't know. Well, open it. How are you going to find out if you don't open it? An idea. It's from the old lady. Look what she's done. She had the kid's voice put on a record. Junior's voice. 
He couldn't even say mama when I left home. Gee whiz, let's listen to it. Ah, uh, who's got a phonograph around here? Maybe they got one in the next town. Yeah, what are we waiting for? Let's get going. Why don't you look where you're going? Get out of that Jeep and I'll beat your brains out. Are you... Who you mad at? How are you, Warnicky? Why, it's Ernie. Hey, Warnicky. fellas, it's the little guy. How are you, Ernie? Have you seen anything? Oh, good, good. Hey, save it back. Save it back, Ernie. What do you want to do? Hey, you think it's a good What's been keeping you? Oh, I've been... We've been pulled. saving sugar for you, Ernie. <laughs> <laughs> The last time that Ernie piled, I can write the old man and he can relax. <laughs> well, here we go again, Ernie. You know, every time you show up, there's a big battle. The last time, I was Tunisia. You uh, better check your dog tags, fellas. Well, <laughs> <laughs> that's me. I go around starting wars. Got to make a living somehow. Got to have something to write about. You know something else? Uh, what? My old man says I look like you. Oh! Oh! Good to see you, boys. Glad to see you. All right, now you're moving on. Hello, you Bill. Hello, Ernie. See you going up in the world. Oh, these. Congratulations. Thanks. It's because I survived longer than the other Louis, I guess. All right, Sergeant, let's get the men out of here. All right, men. Follow me. Hi, Wingless. Hi, Ernie. How's the air corps? I'm afraid the bunny system's got me. Me too. Well, you got an outfit now? Bet your life we got an outfit. Pretty tough. They are tough. They're killers. Better be.
like this one's on us. Okay, I'll cover you. Hiya, babe. Well, I seem to have lost the same. Got to hear the carcass without me, a bambino. But you speak Italian so well. You are an American? I'm sure. In broccolino, I need a donor of sex gentile. Official, immediate. Tuo cugino sperduto. Ma brava, brava, tu parli l'italiano, la mia lingua. Listen, Rainbow, even if I was dumb, I'd still speak your language. Non ti capisco, che cosa vuoi dire? Magari cosa fosse stupido. Parla la tua lingua. Sì? Sì. War again. Sounds like they're paging me. Oh, prego, non lasciarmi. Sono sola. Honest, Rainbow. This hurts me more than it does you. I'll be back. Don't worry. Ma io ti non capisco, non capisco niente. Quando io ritorno ti faccio capire. Tu aspetta per me a casa. Ok? Ok? Ok. Let's go to church, Waterdy. Okay, just a minute. You wait there, Junior. Papa will be right back. Lousy crowd swine!
This is a funny place to be killing men in, isn't it? Children. Get away, get away. Cigarettes, Oh, you're G.I. Joe, huh? You mean G.I. Joe? Cigarettes, no bonus for kids here. This war don't kill me first, my feet will. Me, I feel like I'm 45. I feel like I was too. I darn near am. How old are you, Ernie? 43. I'm 26. If I knew I lived to be 43, I wouldn't have a worry in the world. Oh, yes, you would. You'd be just like me. Worrying about whether you'd get to be 44. Hey, guys, we got a 12 hour rest. Stop. Where's that whiz bang going? I know I'm going to get some sleep. Hey, Murph. Hey, Murph. That red headed nurse. 
crush of yours is in town. You know, your fiance. Is she? What a lucky guy you are. Meeting the guy you're engaged to in the state the way over here. Hey, did you hear that? My ever loving's coming to town. What's all that? This? Yeah. Well, the yellow one is for national defense. The red and white is for very good conduct. The real pretty one over here with all the colors is for being in this theater of operations. No kidding. Yeah. You know any good war stories, Sarge? Yeah, as a matter of fact... <laughs> Anybody know where I can find a phonograph? A phonograph. A Victrola. A music box, see? Hey, what's the matter? Don't any of you guys understand plain English? Look. A phonograph. A Victrola. A music box, see? Oh, you so quello che vuole, sì. Ah, come on, eh, Rab, we're going to hear Junior, yeah. E' andato a prenderlo, ora lo porta subito. Yeah, sì, sì, sì. Ah, sì, sì. Questo è quello che vuole. No, no, no. No, non lo so, no. Look, please. Ah, Marie, ah, Marie. One of the best one that you have ever seen. One more for me. Jeff, the brunch of the country. Brother, the whole town must have shaved with this thing. Well, get Ernie. He's going to give the bride away. Yeah, we'll even right. get the wedding in the papers. Get the captain, too. Listen, okay, Joe. Yeah, right over. Yeah, yeah, No needle. Ernie! Mm. Wake yeah. up, we need you. Rick wants you to give her away. 
What do I want to give her away for? I like Red. Come on, don't go back to sleep. Leave me alone. The only way you'll get me out of here is to carry me. We figured on that, too. Come on, you guys. Let's go that. Come on, let's go. Wake up, Ron. Wake up. Come on. 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 Here goes Arab. Junior's gonna talk to his pappy. Backwards. I must. Beloved, we are gathered here in the sight of God in this company to join together this man and this woman in holy matrimony. Who giveth this woman to be married to this man? Who giveth this woman to be married to this man? I do. Repeat after me. I, Robert, take thee, Elizabeth, to be my wedded wife. I, Robert. Take thee, Elizabeth, be my wedded wife. To have and to hold from this day forward. To have and to hold from this day forward. For better or worse. For better or worse. For richer or poorer. For richer or poorer. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish till death us do part. To love and to cherish until death us do part. Take a better man than that to put us asunder. Oh, I know. You guys, you guys are all jealous. Procession halt! Okay, kids, it's all yours. Honestly. Thanks. You guys, what are you looking at? Let's get going.
Hey, Dundell. Uh-oh. Tell me, Dundell, what's your power over women? What's the matter with you guys? You all look tired. Good morning, dear. I don't like it. It's too quiet. Maybe they've pulled back all the way to Rome. Uh-uh. At this rate, we'll be in Rome in three days. Monastery up there. Huh? So peaceful. You don't think there was a war within a thousand miles of it? For a thousand years. Well, maybe you're right about the crowds pulling all the way back to Rome. I don't get it, though. If they wanted to slug it out here, they could make it plenty tough. terms an observation post. If you don't want to get us all killed, you better give it the business. Can't. Got an order about it. Religious shrine. Does that sound like religion to you? This could be deeper. Yeah, it kind of looks like we're going to need a permanent home here. Yeah. So. Patrol, patrol, patrol. One more patrol and I go nuts. Personally, I'd feel a lot healthier if that monastery wasn't looking down my throat.
got back, Captain. Drew a lot of small arms fire on Hill 457. Mortar fire, 793. Terrific artillery, but couldn't locate it. They got Lieutenant Josephs, Spencer, Trenton. Michelson got in the arm, but I got him back okay. Okay, Sergeant, you better go get some chow. You take over Joseph's platoon. No. If, uh, if Lieutenant Joseph's had any personal belongings, send them over, will you? Bang. Somebody ought to phone a plumber. Sounds pretty silly when you say it, but sometimes resting like this, I get a kick out of just breathing. Hot chaffer, Steve? No. that monastery again. Everyone knows it's being used for an observation post. Why in the devil don't they bomb it? I'm a Catholic and I say bomb it. Check, brother. I got a wife and a kid. Think I want to die for a piece of stone? Why wasn't I born a 4F instead of good looking? Sir, replacements. Yeah, I'll be right with you. Sergeant, line the men up. All right, men, fall in. You first four, first platoon. Sergeant Warnicky will show you to your hotel suites. The next six, second platoon. The corporal will take care of you. The rest of you go with Lieutenant Hawkins. You take over Lieutenant Henry's platoon. Right past that mansion and down the hill, but turn to your left. 
Right, that's all. Dog faces know anything about a phonograph? The cream of the crop I always get. Hey! Gee, I could get killed around here. All right, let's synchronize our watch. You stick with Sergeant Warnick, you Lieutenant. He knows the terrain. Okay, move him out. All right, let's go. Mr. Pyle. Thanks. See you already open. Why not? It was marked personal. What's in it? Oh, nothing much. You just won the Pulitzer Prize, that's all. Well, I'll 
be down. I regret to inform you, Mr. Pyle, you are no longer a newspaper man. You are now a distinguished journalist. Poor devil. Gotta be famous now. skin on this board. I always like to eat the stuffing first. Cranberry sauce. Mm -hmm. Poor folks back home. Sure got a rugged. I told you you should have brought a phonograph. You had turkey. The other outfits had turkey. The general had turkey. My men are gonna have turkey. But, but we tried to. Trying ain't good enough. Either you get those turkeys or suppliers gonna have to get themselves a new lieutenant. I'll, uh, I'll uh, scrounge around and see what I can find, sir. What about cranberry? Oh, no, wait a minute. Cranberries. Cranberries. Believe it or not, boys, it's turkey. Santa Claus! The Santa Claus! Santa Claus! I ever do. So give me a drum. Yeah. Give me any. Give me a Santa Claus. Yeah. Yeah. Give me a drum. Yeah. Hey, 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 maybe somebody else beside the south side. Yeah, I won't come oh, back next look year. Look at the Captain Walker speaking. Oh, I see. Just uh, one prisoner or two? Well, naturally, sir, we'll uh, try to get as many as we can. Replacements? No, they're not here yet. Yes, sir. Another patrol. I'll go. No, no, you've had enough. Every step forward is a step closer, sir, to home. Okay, give me ten minutes. Wine! You bring wine? It's Christmas without no. wine. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And after you finish that little repast, you've got one cigar a piece. Oh. <laughs> That's it, buddy. This is Bob Command Performance Hope, speaking for the Armed Forces Radio Service and saying Merry Christmas and Happy New Year from all of us over here. God bless all of you over there. Hey, Arnie. Mm. You've been to Hollywood? 
Ever know, uh, Carol? I met her. Is it true she... Well, that's the rumor. Uh, tell me something. Are they really on the... You've been around a lot, haven't you, Ernie? New York, Washington, Hollywood, everywhere. You know, when this shindig is over, I'm gonna look you up. Yeah. Good. I want you to get me a job. Yeah. came up, sir. Fine, I'll assign them. We'll need five more. Get them down to headquarters. And even if it hurts, take good care of them. Go on, Eddie. Not me. <laughs> oh, Father. I'm going to turn in. Good night, fellas. Thanks for the Merry Christmas, Ernie. Merry Christmas, Bill. Merry Christmas, Annie. Nightcap? No mind. 
What's that? Secret weapon? Grappa. Grappa? Italian moonshine. You get a purple heart with every third drink. <laughs> Me, I'd rather have the good old Albuquerque sunshine. Yeah, it must be pretty nice in New Mexico this time of the year. Sure is. Always wanted to get out west. Oh, someday, maybe. Well, if you do, look us up. That girl and me will show you how it's done. You married? Well, yes and no. I, I wanted one thing, she wanted another. You walked out. Chapter closed. I've been pulling old names out, putting new names in. You know, you're not the only writer on this outfit. I've been writing, too. Young, Peterson, McCarthy, Spidovsky, Smith. Dear Mrs. Smith, your son died bravely today on the... And the, the new kids that come up. That's what gets you. The new ones. Some of them are just got little fuzz on their faces. They don't know what it's all about. Scared to death. I know it ain't... I know it ain't my fault they get killed, but... I guess I feel like a murderer. I hate to look at them, the new kids. Hey, drink up, Ernie. Used to Five Pass, Gila Beach, Salerno, Moran. Oh, I'm tired. Well, <clears throat> you better try to get some sleep. Yeah, it reminds me of W.C. Fields' sure cure for insomnia. Get plenty of sleep. Names and addresses. And the hills to be taken. <laughs> you'd be simply amazed at the number of hills still to be taken. Ernie, why the devil don't you go home? I often ask that myself. If only we could create something good out of all this energy. All these men. They're the best, Ernie. The best. Yep. Well, it's a world the other world never know. Even the Air Force. Up there, they approach death differently. When they die, they're clean-shaven, well-fed. If that's any comfort. But the G.I., well, he lives so miserable, and he dies so miserably. It's... Nice time. I always like to see one of my men get some relaxation. 
You know, Don Darrell, it had given me a great deal of personal pleasure. To break every bone in your body. Goofing off down there was one thing. Up here it's another. Now get out of here before I kick the... Wait! Report to Sergeant Warnicky. Tell him you're gonna dig latrines for every man in this company from here to Rome. Nice, deep one. When this war is over, I'm going to write a book exposing this army. Hey, Dondero, tell me confidentially, was it worth it? decision. Bomb the monastery. He said, if we must choose between destroying a famous building and sacrificing our own men's lives, then our own men's lives count infinitely more. of war. The very rubble of the monastery became a fortress for the Nazis, and they stopped us cold. We were right back where we started from. Take him some coffee. Keep an eye on him, too. When are we gonna hit him again? 1800. Coffee, Capital? No, thanks. It's hot. No, thanks, Pete. Tough time getting back, sir.
We're captured. Shut up. medics. had done their best and it wasn't enough. Now came the time, as it comes in every war, when the greatest fighting machine of them all, the infantry soldier, had to go in and slug it out.
fellow, you know the 18th Infantry, isn't it? This is it. C Company? What's left of it? Hi, Ernie. Howdy, long shot. Where you been, Ernie? Oh, spreading it around. Hi, Ernie. Hi, hi. Welcome this side of the casino, Ernie. Finally made it, huh? He's moving up the road, look kind of chipper, don't they, Ernie? Sure do. Well, hi, Ernie. Hi, Ernie. Hi, Ernie. Hi, Ernie. No That's right. We kick the door open, and those guys make the grand entrance. Let them have their fun. They're still young. <laughs> Got an extra chair here? Oh, yeah. yeah. Have yeah. A yeah. Ernie. Oh. Glad to see you, Ernie. Thanks. Haven't you eaten that dog yet? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, old man.
right, man. Let's go. our war, and we will carry it with us as we go from one battleground to another until it's all over. We will win. I hope we can rejoice with victory, but humbly, that all together we will try, try out of the memory of our anguish, to reassemble our broken world into a pattern so firm and so fair that another great war can never again be possible for those beneath the wooden crosses. There is nothing we can do except perhaps to pause and murmur, thanks, pal.